You're watching Mouse Clicks TV Rebooted, and I'm here with Don Corbett, the Linux guy. Hey. So I just wanted to ask you, if someone doesn't want to get rid of Windows, mm -hmm. they're married to it, and they want to have Linux, can you run them simultaneously, and how does that work? Well, you, you, there's a couple of different ways you can do that, and uh, whether you're married to it or you're just forced to have an affair with it, really right. doesn't matter. Right. Uh, one of the popular ways in the past has been to have a dual boot system. You've got your Windows side that comes up, and then when you, ins your, when you install Linux over top of it, then you get a new boot menu in front of that. Okay. And then that boot manager lets you decide whether you want to boot to Windows or boot to Linux. Mm -hmm. So that would be one way to do it. But if you wanted to ever bring both of them up at the same time, that wouldn't be possible. And that's where getting into a virtualization environment, again, becomes pretty important. Uh -huh. and, and in this case, pretty handy, because as long as you've got a system that's got a, a dual core or better, and it's got BIOS that allows for virtualization, Right. Uh, the new Linux kernel is just so easy to work with. Mm -hmm. So let, let me show you how we can uh, pull up, uh, for example, a, a Windows uh, XP uh, environment. Okay. I've got my quad core system here running with, uh, with uh, RAID drives. It's telling me my drives are clean and healthy. I got lots and lots of space on it. So what I'll do next is I'll click over here to a section where I've got my hypervisor running. Right. And one of the computer systems that's running under that is Windows XP Pro with Service Pack 3. Okay. You'll see here that it shut off, 0% usage. Now notice I've got two cores set up for use 